Hello, hello, I'm Sonia Move Madman, and I'm back. And today is extremely exciting because it's Friday, so we get to talk about another B movie, don't we? Yeah, what B movie are we going to talk about today? Well, you probably know because you clicked on it and it says in the thing what it is. Today we're going to talk about the Velocity Pasta. So, another one that I haven't got a physical copy of, sorry. I bought this on Prime Video, I believe. It's Prime Video or Google Play, one of them. I bought it digitally. That's how you're able to watch stuff in it. Uh, it's a poster for you there as well, just so you know that I'm not lying about what it is. But what is it? I can hear a lot of you saying, like, Title like that, you're gonna you're gonna tell us what it is. I am. Yes, yeah, what this video is about. And it well, mainly what this video is about. So there's a church pastor, and his uh his parents die, and he's just he's giving up a little bit, and he's like I don't know, I don't know what to do with my life anymore. He talks to his fellow other church pastor. He says, Why don't you? Why don't you go to China? Go find yourself. Like, you know, like as pastors need to do. I'm pretty sure most times pastors have problems. They just pray and then their problems disappear, allegedly. But, you know, we're not, we're not digging down. We're not digging down that route. This pastor decides to go to China to mourn the death of his parents. And that's when he uh, <clears throat> gets powers. Yeah, gets powers like a werewolf. So he turns into a turns into a dinosaur. I don't know why it's called the Velocity Pasta because when you see that dinosaur, it looks more like a a T Rex. But you know the T Rexy Pasta doesn't sound as good. So I'm pretty sure the Velocity Pasta was what they went for. But yeah, he looks like a he looks like a T Rex. When I say that, it looks like a man put on grey pajamas and then like a T Rex helmet on top. Looks very stupid. I tell you that. Like like not even realistic kind of stupid just just really stupid like the amount of times that the t-rex is up on two feet for most of most of the time that you see the dinosaur it's on two feet and it just it just looks really stupid and that's not that's not a compliment it just it does look really stupid uh it does try very hard to be really stupid um but yeah, anyway, so this pastor then gets these powers to turn into a dinosaur or a velociraptor slash T-Rex. And then he uses his new powers to fight off the ninja mafia that are currently invading his town. Although they're not really in a town, they spend most of their time in tents in a field. But we won't, we won't go there. There are parts where the guy's eyes change and you're just like, oh, he's turning into a dinosaur, isn't he? He gets really exciting and then like his arms change they do a couple of scenes where his arms change into dinosaur arms but the rest of him's just normal and he just looks like he's put on some gray oven gloves that have got a few claws it looks really stupid i don't know if i could keep saying how stupid the film looks but it does it does look pretty stupid yeah as b movies go uh sharknado is probably the lowest of the low B movies that I've ever seen, but this one is just, just above it. It's still pretty. It's pretty near the bottom. Like, because a lot of B movies, I think the idea and the design of B movies is, this film is cheap. We apologise, but we're trying to make it look as good as we can. Whereas when you watch the Velocity Pastor, it's a bit like, this film is cheap, and we don't care because we're just here to take the piss out of cheap films and it doesn't it doesn't work very well I think is the best way to put it it doesn't work very well um, out of all the B movies I've seen this was probably one of the ones that I heard the pitch for and I was like the most excited about it I took absolutely ages trying to find this film and get a decent copy of it digitally finally managed to get one and it was more disappointing than the 4k disc of avatar i won't i won't tell you what happens at the end there is 
some fighting between dinosaurs and ninjas. I say dinosaurs, there's only one dinosaur, but you do get to see dinosaurs fighting ninjas, or a dinosaur, sorry, fighting ninjas. That's quite, that's quite funny to watch. It's probably the highlight of the film, except for the fact that you keep seeing this T-Rex on two legs. That was a bit, I didn't like that. I thought it was, I didn't like it. And then he's got like a hunchback as well. That's probably like the man in the costume. But, oh dear, I couldn't couldn't stress how much of a strange attempt at a B-movie this was. There's even parts where the screen just says the effects, car on fire. No, that's not, it's kind of funny, but when you keep doing it, it's not, it's not that funny. It's like they try to be a parody of themselves, which obviously doesn't work. You're just standing there like, oh, look, look how stupid I am. Like after a while, people will just be like, yeah, we get that you're stupid because you keep pointing at yourself and saying you're stupid. But, you know, you can't really do that for a whole film. It doesn't really, it doesn't really work. Uh, I would say watch it. If you can watch it for free somewhere, give it a watch, but don't go in expecting an amazing triumphant B movie. Just go in expecting it to try a bit hard and probably cringe you out for an hour. It's literally just over an hour. I think it's like 70 minutes long or something stupid like that. And they literally spend about half of that film just setting it up. So yeah, all in all, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't the best. But it was okay. It's probably a good way. Okay, an okay movie. Okay, out of 10. Yeah, because apparently I do films out of 10 now, allegedly. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about the Velocity Pastor anymore. I filled you with everything that you need to know. Yeah, you probably know enough by now. Enough to either give you enough motivation to watch it or just one in the opposite direction when someone says, here, do you want to watch this? You'll know, you know now. So I've done, done my bit for today, um, hopefully. Uh, I'm gonna go now, I'll be back on Monday to show you another, another new movie. And then Wednesday, I'm gonna kill myself releasing another MCU video. Hopefully it will be over a minute and a half. And then obviously Friday we'll be back with another B movie. Maybe a good one, but probably not. If you could like this video and subscribe to the channel and I'm gonna fuck off. Okay, goodbye.